Hello Commanders, Commander Place here back with another Elite Dangerous video. Today I'm talking about the current economic situation in Elite Dangerous. If you're not sure what I mean, you haven't been doing missions. Because the payouts for missions have been vastly nerfed um, across the board. And when we're talking about nerfed, um, FDev are basically saying that they've brought other things in line when it comes to streams of income. And when they've done that, what they've done overall is they've reduced everything. One example is a mission that would pay for going to Jack's for a tourist mission um, was going to pay you know, 60 million, something like that, and now it pays about 6 million. So it, they've really reduced the effectiveness and the interest that these things are going to have because everyone is always looking for efficient ways to make money in Elite and it's all about that credits per hour and that's what everyone always seems to talk about especially you know if you're talking about quick exploits and ways to make money it is about that credit per hour mark and everyone's looking for that and um, that 30 to 40 million credits per hour obviously with the expo exploration missions and the passenger missions they don't have that that's fine but what they are is they're interesting but the reward has to be worth it so if someone wants to go to the Jack's Tourist Beacon, scan it and come back, you're going to need to pay me a lot of money. Um, and you give me three weeks to do it as well. So, certainly if, if I want to actually make some money and have some fun at the same time, because if I'm just rushing towards Jack's and I'm doing nothing but Neutron Star and White Dwarf um, jumps, then it's not going to be particularly interesting for me from an exploration point of view. Also, the demands of the passengers also were going to cause some issues so but I'm wondering whether or not this was actually foreshadowed by FDev and they gave us a bit of a heads up now back in August on the 12th of August they published a, a galactic news and it was titled economic turmoil ahead now as it reads uh, according to Galactic Finance Times, analysis of the largest corporations in the Federation and the Empire reveals evidence of a significant economic downturn in the coming years. We're seeing poor revenue forecasts for a wide range of corporations, including big names like Sirius, hopefully everyone knows who they are, uh, Gutemeyer and Cornet Core Dynamics, and everyone should know who they are, of course. Um, they should be concentrating on marketing to leverage new product ranges, but instead they're diverting resources into intensive research and development. They're ignoring, ignoring the traditional sales cycle. And we don't know why. It's perplexing. Shareholders have seen poor returns on their investments in the recent months, with stock prices dropping across multiple sectors, although this has given others the chance to pick up stock at bargain prices. Several of the pertinent corporations were contacted by the Galactic Finance Times but none um, deigned a response. Despite the GFT's report, some commenta commentators, or commenters, I guess, commentators, who knows how you say that, uh, blame the downturn on the London Treaty, which was signed by the galaxy's three major powers in 3278, following an introduction of the frameshift drive. The treaty enforces strict tonnage limitations for capital ships and was aimed at preventing an arms race, but in recent years it has come to be, see be perceived as a barrier to economic development. Hmm, interesting so far. And this is the kind of stuff that people tend not to get into with the storyline um, and the background story in Elite. We tend to focus on the get a good ship, make some money, get a better ship, make some more money, shoot another player, pew pew whilst there's a lot more going on. So, one option for investors looking for a risky but possibly lucrative venture is a startup called MetaDrive Inc., a small company based in the Kai Orionis system specializing in hyperdrive research. The company is reported to be seeking investment. Now, I don't think there's a community goal around that, so that was just kind of dropped in casually. So, currently, I'm actually on my way to that system because I thought it would be worth having a look at to see what's there because you never know and if they do kind of drop things in there it might be nothing but if not it's a different system for me to go do some missions and please I want to make some money but if dev are nerfing everything uh, every time the player community finds a way to make money if dev come in and they shut it down 
and board hopping is a prime example of that. You know, but before board hopping, it would take you maybe 10 to 15 minutes to load up 20 missions uh, of exactly the same type with the same target, and you'd be able to go in there and you'd be able to make your money nice and quick. But that is gone. Now the board hopping does happen, but the missions refresh slowly, much slower than the every time you go in and out. Instancing doesn't seem to be working the same way. Now, whether they've done this because they knew it was an exploit and people were doing it, or they decided to do it um, to minimise servers and instances available so that people find bump into each other more often, and they haven't really admitted it. All they've said is, oh, we've reviewed the mission systems. And that's what they always say in their updates, we've reviewed the mission systems. As well as the, oh, we've reviewed the rewards. Reviewed the rewards means reduced them. That's all that means. Call it what it is, it's a nerf. But again, we, we're, we're the community, we decide what a nerf is. So maybe it's not a bad thing. Maybe they're trying to limit people's um, development in the game. And one thing to think about is the engineers isn't something you can buy your way through. So FDev have successfully with that one slowed people down. And the community complained initially with the one... Uh, material being given out or the one data and I I can agree with that that was pretty a real turn off towards it but now we're getting three each time and certainly I'd say some things are much more difficult to find than others um, in particular I'm still looking for modified embedded firmware cannot find it anywhere no matter which um, places and which settlements I scan I cannot find it I can always get something different but hey there you go if someone's got somewhere reliable for modified embedded firmware please leave a comment let me know help me out so I lost my train of thought completely that's good isn't it so talking about the the, the nerf is obviously FDev have probably got an idea of a credits per hour they want people to have and be able to earn effectively now even on some of the best trade routes I've managed to try and find and that's on ETNIO is you know it it's only like 17 17 million per hour as an absolute tops which for the amount of work and it's boring as well I mean you've got kind of passive and active ways of making money it, it's a pretty passive way so people tend not to be interested in that or those who are trading it's pretty boring and they're doing it for something else with a goal to do something else and certainly I think combat missions should be better play better paying because combat it's called elite dangerous it's not called elite truck simulator after all is it um, and I do understand that trading can be dangerous but it's not very exciting I have done it I've, pl I've played kind of almost every single different type of way of making money in the game um, the only type of mission I haven't done is um, mining because I, I I find it really boring I did it to unlock uh, Celine Jean but that was it but there you go so again this is a bit of a talking video I guess now just having a quick think about what's out there and different ways to make money and certainly non-exploit ways to make money as well I mean everyone's looking for that quick hit that really easy way of doing it and including myself I can't pretend I'm not but certainly I feel as though the options are getting less as time goes on we're definitely being um, restricted on the amount of money that we can make now hopefully um, I get to Kai Orionis and I find the the ultimate way to make money and something really exciting that's going on there probably not chances are if, if that was the case someone would have found that before me uh, especially with a, a news post from three months ago but once again um, I'm Commander Plater, in search of ways to make money in the galaxy and find a successful way to get through it before the aliens arrive. Um, thank you for watching. It's Commander Plater out.